Hey scholars, it's good to be back with you. Today I'd like to go over how to use a solve block in MathCAD Prime. Now if you're not familiar with MathCAD Prime, it's like a math scratch pad, the easiest way ever to beat numbers out of a computer. I'm a big fan. And a solve block is a way of doing uh, solving systems of equations or doing some other really useful things. It's really easy to use, it's very powerful, but there is a little bit of syntax. So let's learn about that. Now I want to, for an example, I want to solve a system of two equations. That one. Two equations, two unknowns. Two equations, the unknowns are x and y. Now, there's two ways to solve this system of equations. The first is just to treat it like two equations and, and run it through MathCAD, which we'll do here in a minute. The second one is, well, since these equations are both equal to x, they must both equal to each other, right? Because when I say solve this system, what I'm, find, I'm saying is find a value of x and a value of y that makes both of these true. Well, that's the same as setting this and this equal to each other, solving for x, and then going back and figuring out what y is. So I can use the root finding function in MathCAD Prime to do this. And just to show you how this will work, if they're equal to, both equal to y, they're both equal to each other. So I can do this. I can write x squared plus cosine x equals 2x plus 5. And let me get out of your way here. So, so far, so good. All I've done is just set the right sides of these equal to each other. Well, let's push everything over to the left side and get a zero on the right side of the equal sign. How about this? x squared plus cosine x That looks like a root finding problem in one variable. And the answer for x is the same thing as you'll get by solving this as a system of two equations. So, with that out of the way, let's go to my computer and do this in MathCAD Prime. Okay, here we are on my computer and we're running MathCAD Prime 8. If you're using Prime 7, that's still okay. This should work about the same. Now, I've got it zoomed in pretty far so you can see these characters in case you're watching this video on your phone. The picture, the, the page is actually a lot bigger than this. We're just going to use a small segment of it. So first thing I want to do, let's draw a picture of the answer and see what we've got here. So I'm going to use quick plots. I'm going to use a good plot there, insert plot, say xy plot. It just scrolled up there for me. Okay, so I'm going to put in x down here for the x-axis. And for the y-axis, I'm going to put y sub 1 of x. So y, and that, super, or that subscript 1, uh, to get to that you say control underscore 1, and then sub x. And there it is. Hmm. Okay, well I need the other one. I want the other one on here as well. So go to, uh, I like the plot, go to add trace. And there's another trace, so y underscore 2 of x. So there they are. Well, let's maybe zoom in a little bit. So change the x scaling. Let's go from minus 5 to 5. So just click on the end of the scale and then type in whatever you want. Okay, that's better. It's, it's pretty easy to see what's going on here. Um, unfortunately, it's not possible to add grid lines or labels or anything like that in Quick Plot. If you want to do that, you go to Math and then uh, Chart Component. There's a much more sophisticated plotting routine that you can use. But anyway, this, this is the big picture here. So this gets the job done. Um, it looks to me like the solutions are at, yeah, what's that, about minus 1.8 and at about, I don't know, 3.6 or so, somewhere in that neighborhood. Well, let's try this. Let's use the root finding command first. Um, not that. I'm going to go ahead and do just what I did on the board. And I'm going to just blindly paste that in. And then I'm going to subtract that. Copy, paste, there it is, there's a function. And to use root, what I can do now is I have to give it an initial guess. I don't know what the guess is, let's just say it's one. And say root f of x comma x equals, okay, 3.525, that must be that one. To find this one, let's guess minus one. Ah, there we go. In fact, if you want, copy that, paste it, and do both of them. So there we go. Those are our two roots, minus 1.645 and 
uh, so far so good. So let's go ahead now and solve these as a system of equations. I don't need this anymore. Normally I would scroll down to the bottom of the page, but I'm trying to keep this all on the screen for you. So what I'm going to do now is under the math tab go to solve block, and there it is right there. This little square comes up, and it's going to ask you to guess values, give constraints, and run the solver. So like any other uh, root finding routine, it needs an initial guess. Now the initial guess doesn't have to be very good, but it, it does have to be one. So let's say x equal one and y equal one. Okay, that's neither one of those is right, but I just got to get in the right neighborhood here. And I'm going to compress that a little bit. So for the first constraint, now where it says constraints, those are actually the equations you're trying to solve. So there's constraint number one, which is equation number one. Now. Now right now I've only got one side of the first equation programmed. I have to set it equal to y. So let's click over here and there's a special equal sign you'll use. And it lives right there under comparisons. It's control equals. So I'm going to click that. Control equal is the, the uh, hotkey for it. Or you can just select it off the menu there. So there I'm going to say y equals x squared plus sine x. Now next thing I'm going to do is put the other equation in there the same way and I'm going to say let's see I can do y and I'm going to use control equals again equals I'm just going to paste this in so there now I've got the two equations programmed if you want to keep it compact you can put this over here if you like MathCAD reads from left to right and top to bottom so let's see if I can compress that down a little bit. Now solver, I have to tell it to find something. Well, the easiest thing to do is tell it to find x, y. Just hit equals on your keyboard, and there it is. That's x, and that's y. Remember, this was 3.525. So that's this point right here, 3.525 in the x direction and 12.049 in the y direction. Well, how are we going to get it to find that one? Yeah, same way we did before. There you go. Minus six point or minus one point six four five and one point seven one. So there you go. This is how to solve a system of equations in MathCAD Prime using a solve block. It's pretty easy. There's a little syntax, but it's not much. And it's very, very useful. I hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time.